Welcome back, Rich Minds. It's your boy Reno coming back to you with another video. And today's topic is gonna be someone is pissed and salty. Yes, sir. Let me say a lot of for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, someone is pissed and salty. Okay, now the reason why people are pissed and salty, of course, y'all, I'm gonna give y'all all the reasons, but let me just say this, y'all. Uh, when people begin to get pissed and salty, it is because they no longer have control over you, all right? It is because they no longer have a say so over you, yes, sir. And it's also because of the fact that you know you are beginning to choose yourself, okay, which is one of my points, right? As I continue to keep going on, y'all, but I just want you to realize something. Um, you have to be okay with people not being okay with you. All right. You have to be okay with people not being okay with the decision that you make for yourself. Right. Somebody drop in the comments and say, uh, there's no room for explanation. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say there's no room for explanation. And what I mean by that is, y'all, um, we got to stop explaining ourselves to toxic people, right? You got to stop explaining yourself to somebody who care nothing about your emotions, the way you feel. All they want is what they want, right? All they want is what they want, okay? And whatever that is, whether that's money, whether that's your time, whether that's your presence, your energy, okay? Whether that's your love, whatever the case is, y'all, right? But they want what they want, all right? But with that being said, y'all, you know, we're going to go ahead and get directly into this video. But before we do so, y'all be sure to leave a thumbs up on this video as well as subscribe to the channel. Yes, sir. And not only that, y'all, y'all be sure to ring my bell so you can be notified after every single video I post. Let's get into it, Chosen Ones. The first reason someone is pissed and salty is going to be this, y'all. Uh, you chose you, okay? That's the first point, y'all. You chose you. And also, let me say this, y'all, before I go further. You know, uh, a lot of people ask me, Brenda, why you make these you mad videos and uh, somebody is pissed videos? Because that is exactly what it is, y'all. All right. You know, people get mad when they can't have the control they once did. People get mad when you are telling them no. Like, how dare you tell me no? Some people can't live with the fact that you told them no. You told me no? Nah, he didn't just say that. <laughs> she didn't just say that. But I say all this to say this. Uh, when somebody is pissed, okay, and salty, it is because of the fact you chose yourself. All right. So that's why I make these videos. That's why I make these videos, because people are constantly getting mad. They are literally mad, y'all. All right, and another thing people ask, Reno, who is they again? Y'all know who they is. Y'all just don't want to say it. They is family. They is friends. They is coworkers, okay? They is people at your church, at the gym. They is random individuals. They is whoever can wear the glove, all right? That's who they is for. And so I, I just had to go ahead and, you know, address that. But sticking to the point, y'all, when you choose yourself, you choose your own happiness. Okay? You choose your own joy. Right? Um, Oftentimes, when you are attached to people, right, especially attached to miserable people, they get a kick out of that. They get a kick out of seeing you dim your light. Right? Somebody drop in the comments and say, you won't dim my light. They get a kick out of you you know, uh, having to answer to them, right? It's almost like riding with somebody uh, because you don't have your own car. You got no choice but to deal with that toxicity. You got no choice but to deal with a mad person. You got no choice but to deal with negativity. You got no choice but to deal with that, right? <laughs> you have no choice but to deal with it. Reno, what are you saying right now? You know, uh, when you say, you know what, I'm going to hop out the car. I don't care if I don't got no car to drive. I'm going to step outside of your house. I don't care if I got nowhere to sleep. Now, of course, y'all, I'm not saying you got to do this, but I mean this figuratively, you know, and in reality, right? The point is, when you no longer care about the people, you know, who you are attached to, feelings and emotions, Right? Because you are valuing yours for a change. Right? 
people get pissed and salty. Once again, how dare you decide to love yourself? How dare you decide to say that you are uh, prioritizing you? How dare you? <laughs> again, y'all, the question is, should not be how dare you. The question should, or I would say the statement should be, hey, I understand why you're doing what you're doing. Or even if they don't understand why, you know, you're doing what you're doing. Hey, I just hope that all is well. But that's how you know you are dealing with selfish people. When they can't even put themselves aside. When you say, you know what? Nope, I got to choose me. You done been here for people for so long, so many years. You ain't missed a baby shower. You ain't missed a graduation. You ain't missing a, a, a event. You ain't miss nothing. You ain't miss a step. But you said, I got to miss this to take care of this, which is my temple, my body, me, the individual, right? And this is when you begin to expose a lot of selfish individuals. I hate to say it, y'all, but people are selfish. Okay? They are. Um. Anyway, y'all, moving on to the next one. Number two is going to be this, y'all. They can't have their way. Yes, sir. Let me say it louder. For my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, they can't have their way. Okay? So this right here is a huge one. When a person cannot have their way, they throw tantrums. Oh, yeah, y'all. They throw a fit. <laughs> y'all ever seen a kid who wanted some candy inside of a store? Right? And they licking at that Kit Kat. And they licking at that Twix. That white Hershey. Right? And that's my favorite, by the way, y'all. But the point remains. They looking at it, y'all. And whoever told them that they can't have it, brother, sister, cousin, daddy, uncle, right, mama, whatever the case is, y'all. No, you can't have it. No. Right? Well, they begin to have a tantrum because they want what they want. And that's the same thing with your family, with friends, co-workers, Okay, people who feel entitled and obligated to you. Let me say it once again, y'all. People who feel entitled and obligated to you. Okay? Somebody drop in the comments and say, I don't owe you nothing. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say, I don't owe you nothing. All right? Again, y'all, it's okay to say no. You have to be okay. Right with people not being okay with you or your decisions because oftentimes we sacrifice ourselves, all right, and they get what they want, they happy, but now we're unhappy on the inside. Okay, now we're the ones who have this bitterness and we have this, you know, not necessarily hatred, but you know, this resentment because we agreed to something that we never wanted to agree to. But once you reach a level of maturity, the way you say, listen, you can't have your way with me. No longer. You can't have your way with me. Listen, y'all, that's a powerful tool. That is a powerful tool. Everybody don't have the backbone to stand up to family, friends. People don't have the backbone. They feel like they got to always, you know, uh, be codependent on somebody else, right? That's a form of codependency. See, being independent doesn't ha always have something to do with your finances, right? It doesn't always have something to do with you being a great provider, male or female, right? Sometimes, you know, we need, I'm a woman in our life as a man uh, Need a man in your life as a woman Right And again y'all This is not to preach division Because ultimately Once you're married You know you have reached something sacred And this is what God wants This is what God wants And I'm not saying that you don't You know uh, Supposed to do that Right That's not what I'm preaching What I'm saying this is that uh, In order to reach a state of whole Okay, you have to understand how to be okay with yourself. Okay, being dependent on you, not dependent on someone else. Okay, being dependent on the fact that they say it's okay, you did a good job, right? You're beautiful, you're handsome. Okay, it's okay to do this just because they said it's okay. You have to know that, man, it's okay. I don't care if my grandma ain't told me I can't do it or my granddaddy told me that I can't do it. You have to know that it is okay because you said it's okay. Not because mama said, not because granddaddy said, not because auntie said or mama. Right? Make sense of what I'm saying, y'all? So codependency is real. 
right? They don't got nothing to do with your finances. And that's something that I had to work on. I had to work on that. And I'm still currently working on that, right? Of being okay uh, that other people are not okay because of my decision. I'm one of those type of people, y'all, being the empath. Hey, you good? You good? You all right? Man, I love you. Just want, just want to let people know that I love them so much. Just want to let people know that I care about you. Just want to let people know that, hey, the last thing, if anything happened when I leave this place or leave this building, at least you know that, hey, man, nephew said he loved me. Brother said he loved me. Right? My son said he loved me. My homeboy said he loved me. Y'all follow what I'm saying? That's the last memory I want a person to have. That's the last memory I want them to have of me. Right? However, y'all, some people take that as a sense of, uh, you need me. You know, you're trying to please me. But in actuality, that's just that person's heart. And that's the type of person I was, right? However, once you get to a point where you say, no, you can no longer have your way, people get pissed. They get real salty. Real salty, okay? Somebody drop in the comments and say, ooh, you mad. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say, ooh, you mad. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get to it, y'all. The next one, number three, is going to be this, y'all. Um, you peeped their manipulation. That's another one, y'all. You peeped. Their manipulation, okay? And so with that being said, understand something. A person does not want to be called out. A person hates to be exposed, especially when they know that they are wrong. A person don't want to be exposed. They don't, okay? Rena, what are you saying right now? See, when a person is exposed or when a person, you know, know that you see their manipul manipulative tactics, it make them want to change the play a little bit, right? It make them have no choice but to play victim and get and try to pull some things out of you. See, I was only doing this because you made me do it. No, I can't make you do anything. But what I probably did do is reveal what was on the inside of you. Mm -hmm. I didn't make you do nothing. But what I did do was reveal what was on the inside of you. And we all are healing from something. We're all trying to get better. We're all trying to, you know, uh, do away with past traumas, right? The things that we seen other people do to us. The things that, you know, uh, still stick with us. As we are now adults and trying to become the better version of ourselves. Make sense of what I'm saying, y'all? And so with that being said, again... When you people person manipulation, when you peep, when they know that you know, oh, now you done woke up the beast. Mm-hmm. You done woke up the beast because you wasn't supposed to know that, right? <laughs> it's almost like, you know, let's just say you got a son right here, right? And I had a very similar situation, but I'm going to try to uh, keep that, you know, for, for another video. But let's just say you had a son right here and the stepfather acts a certain way to the son mm -hmm. and the mother and when i say a certain way to the son he acts as if he is friend and the mother is suffering from emotional trauma emotional abuse verbal trauma verbal abuse mental trauma mental abuse right he's she, she's suffering from what this man is doing to her but the stepfather is acting as if he loved the son so much He's acting as if, yo, I'm your friend. I'm your homie. You can call me. You can text me. You can, whatever you need from me, I got you. I'm your father figure. But when he walk, but when his son walk in and see that his stepfather is abusing his mother, it make you look a whole nother way. It make that son realize that, did you really love me? Or were you manipulating me? Did you really care about me? Or, or, or were you manipulating me? Are y'all following what I'm saying? How can you love me and you're doing this to another part of me? It makes no sense. Somebody drop in the comments and say it makes no sense. It makes no sense. So what I'm saying, y'all, is that when you people a person's manipulation, it's going to cause them to get rowdy. To get hostile, right? 
<laughs> to get rowdy, to get hostile, to uh, play victim, to make it as if you are the bad person. This is what they do when you peep their manipulation. When you catch their what? BS. All right. Uh, moving on to the next one, family. It's going to be number four. And that is uh, you refuse to take a beating. Yes, sir. Let me say it louder. For my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family. You refuse to take a beating. Okay. Now, I mean this figuratively, uh, physically, you know, mentally, verbally, emotionally. In all ways, honestly, family. See, when a person don't want you uh, or when a person won't allow you to grow, allow you to separate yourself from their toxicity or um, negativity, you know, they get pissed about that, y'all. Real salty. Mm -hmm. Because you are supposed to take this beating. That's their mindset. You are supposed to allow me to crack jokes on you. Jokes that you don't even, that they know you don't like, but they still give it to you and uh, play victim and say, I was just joking. How you are joking about some things that I told you I don't like? I told you that. But it's a joke to you, huh? But what if I joke on you? And then this is where we get to a point of uh, returning toxicity with toxicity. And that's what we're not going to do, y'all. Nah, we're not doing that. I'm not going to give you bad just because you give me bad. I'm not going to give you evil just because you give me evil. I'm not going to do that. Mm -mm. Right? And so oftentimes people get mad because you don't. They are not healed. And let's just say that you're still healing, right? Because none of us are perfect on here. However, you are trying to get better. They want to stay in the same place. And this is where growth comes in. Make sense of what I'm saying, y'all? Somebody drop in the comments and let me know. But again, you told them, look, I refuse to take that emotional beating. I refuse to take that verbal beating, which means I am willing to remove myself. And somebody say, uh, somebody asks, Reno, how do I get peace, you know, uh, uh, with the narcissist or get peace with my manipulative family members or how do I get peace with uh, my malicious friends or people who I grew up with or people who are my family how do I get peace and my only answer to that is to remove yourself the only way you're going to get peace with people like that is if they want to uh, make peace with themselves right this is when a person reaches a level of growth. But you can't make somebody grow if they don't want to grow. You can't get peace from somebody who is not, you know, willing to make peace with themselves. How can they have peace with you? It's impossible. So, again, you have to remove yourself from the situation. I, I, and again, y'all, I get it. It's easier said than done. I understand that. But family... You have to have a backbone. Family, you have to not allow family to manipulate you. You have to not allow people that you are connected to to feel that they are, make them feel as if it is okay to feel uh, obligated and entitled to you. You have to make sure, right? Or else, if you don't treat, uh, show people how to treat you, they're going to continuously do it, y'all. But sticking to the point, you refuse that beating and that makes them mad. It makes them pissed. You supposed to let me talk about you. You supposed to let me do whatever I want to do. You supposed to sit here in this. Sit in it. Come on. That's what they own, y'all. No. That's not what we're doing. That's not what we're doing. Okay? Somebody drop in the comments and say, we not doing that. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say, we not doing that. All right? Uh, moving on to the next one, y'all. It's going to be number five, which is the last one. And that is, you stood on what you believed in. Yep. You stood on what you believed in. See, this is what got Malcolm X killed. This is what got Rosa Parks jailed. This is what got Martin Luther King killed. This is what got, you know, a lot of, well, gotten a lot of people who had, um, strong beliefs and had people following those beliefs, you know, done away with, right? You know, I understand that uh, your words are powerful and I never want to put myself in that same light, but this is why so many people dislike me. They don't want me talking about jealousy. They don't want me talking about envy, family, friends. They don't want me talking about success. They don't want me talking about being chosen. They don't want me talking about God's word. Especially having a strong opinion about it. I'm asking for it. 
And so you have to understand that even with you on a smaller scale, when you stand up for what you believe in, it goes back to that same question. How dare you stand up for what you believe in? How dare you decide to say you're going to start reading books? How dare you say you're going to start doing better with your life? You're going to stop selling drugs. You're going to stop drinking. How dare you cut yourself off from us? How dare you? Right? But you stood up for what you believed in. You're not wrong for your doctrines. You're not wrong for how you feel. You're not wrong for what you have learned. And, you know, for you, it works for you to be true. You ain't wrong for that. That's why I would never judge, you know, somebody who say, man, I don't want to be Christian. I would never judge a person who say, I don't believe in God. It's not for me to judge. I believe in God. I have a spiritual relationship with the Most High. I believe in His Son. But I would never judge somebody else who say, I don't, that's not what I do. That's their beliefs. Let them stand on what they believe in. Because guess what? Let uh, the first person cast the stone if they have not sinned, right? I'm, I'm paraphrasing a bit, but y'all understand what I'm saying. Once again, I believe. <laughs> I believe in the Most High. I believe, I believe in His Son. But I would never shun somebody else because of what they may believe in. Y'all following what I'm saying? And so that goes back to the whole point, y'all. The whole point is um, they are mad at you because you stood up for what you believed in, okay? And so with that being said, y'all, uh, that's pretty much what it is. We're going to go ahead and do a recap, and then we'll conclude this video. So uh, someone is pissed and salty, okay? And the first uh, reason is you chose you, okay? Number two, they can't have their way. Number three, you peep their manipulation. Uh, number four, you refuse to take a beating. And number five, you stood on what you believed in. All right. And so with that being said, y'all, uh, if you would like to purchase any one of my books, book a one-on-one -on -one session with me or enroll into my social influence course, you can do so by clicking the link inside my description. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Y'all keep a rich mentality. Peace. What's good, family? It's your boy, Reno. Check this out, y'all. I just dropped my social influence course, okay? Where I show you how to build up your social media platform as well as become a self published author understand what i'm saying y'all if you want to leverage your expertise okay you gotta publish your book but not only that if you want to get popping and build your community you gotta build up your social media platform and so i put that all in one course okay and so all you got to do is go to the link in my bio all right and drop in the comments social influence if you want to build up your social influence click that link in the bio and we're gonna get you popping keep a rich mentality